What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So if you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. So we got yet another new tool here for the garage. Yes, we have a WEN 12 inch variable speed drill press. So I got this thing as a Christmas gift from my dad. So if you're watching this, love you pops. Thank you for the Christmas gift. So I've been eager to open this thing up. I even have a couple of mods for it already. Um, I got this, what is this? It's a master chuck key basically. So it has like a bunch of different keys. I just got this one cause it's magnetic so I can just stick it on there. I'm only gonna need one side out of all four uh, different keys that it has, but whatever, it's magnetic. So I think it's gonna be cool just slapping it on there and not having to worry about it. I also got this drill press vise here. So this is gonna help me basically keep everything held down while I'm drilling something. And I also want to add like a water squirter. So that way, whenever I'm drilling something, my bit doesn't get too hot. So I wanna be like throwing water at it, but like in pulses. So I got this repeat cycle timer. I don't know, I got this thing on Amazon. Everything that I'll be using and doing today, I'll link in the description below because I got everything from Amazon, but I got this thing and I got this gooseneck. It's like a water thing. This is from a parts washer. So I'm gonna use this to route for my water sprayer. And then I got a pack of these, which is a quarter inch hose water sprayer nozzle, I think they're called. Like I said, they'll be in the description, but yeah. So we're gonna do all of that, but first we need to get this thing opened up. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this real quick see what we're working with, and then start assembling everything. All right, so right out of the box, I can see that there's only one, two, three, four, that's just the handle. So four main pieces to this. So I, it shouldn't be that hard to assemble it all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the instruction manual first, figure it all out, and then I'll start assembling the whole thing. And we're gonna hopefully see a final finished product. And then we'll get on to testing it out. And then we'll get on to our doing our little mods. All right guys, so I got this thing completely assembled now. I'm not gonna lie, I did spend about like 40 minutes right now adjusting it because when I first turned it on, it would only spin to about 2600 RPMs and it says it's supposed to go up to 32, I believe. Um, basically, I loosened up the two nuts here and the one here and I kept messing with it and I think I got the sweet spot now. So right now, when I turn it on, it goes up to about 30, about 30, 3,010, 3,020 RPMs. Those fast RPMs are mostly for like woodworking and I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of woodworking anyway, so I don't really care. I'm gonna be drilling steel and other metals, so for that, I need lower RPMs, which it does no problem. I'm gonna be using it at around like 1,000 to like 1,500 RPMs, so we're good to go on that. So now that that's taken care of, I want to go ahead and throw this thing on and then put it to the test. I want to test the laser 
make sure it's nice and centered and then it has this cool light that you turn on and then it illuminates the whole thing so this setup is actually pretty cool so i'm gonna go ahead and bolt this down and then i'm gonna test the two by four and see if the bit does drill right where the two laser lines cross which would be right there All right guys, so you can tell that this thing is pretty accurate. Let me show you guys. So I turned it on and I drilled and the X of the lasers, let's see if I can get it to focus. So basically, ugh, the X cross is right there, right where it drilled. So this thing is accurate. So that's a plus because I didn't want to have to adjust the laser. So. This thing is ready to go. Now we need to really put it to the test and I have a project that I need to finish. So this is why I had to build this now. So let's go ahead and test that out real quick. But before we get into all that, I want to go ahead and take these off because I don't think I'll be needing them. The range of motion is perfectly good with just doing this. You go over there, full lock, and it stops. So I think just having this one will make it a lot easier and nothing will get in the way right here. And I also want to take this off, which is the, the chuck key holder. Um, I won't be needing this, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Obviously I will be saving this, but I don't need it for now because I got this one. And like I said, the magnet on this thing is super strong. So this is what I'm gonna stick to. So looks nice and clean now. So now we can just go like this. We need the key, pull it off, boom, boom, put it back, bam, good to go. All right guys, so next day here, I just got these drill press vice clamps. So basically they're pretty cool. They bolt up from the bottom and then you literally, you can put something on the table right here and then just clamp it down and then it shouldn't move. So we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes into our quarter inch uh, steel bar that we have right here. We actually have to drill holes for these because we have to put them on the trailer to hold our ramps up. So we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here and see how it all works out. All right guys, so it's actually having a pretty hard time drilling through this thing. It basically has gone almost completely through. As you can see on the back, it has like a huge dimple. So it just needs that little extra push at the end, but it keeps stopping for some reason. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because my drill bits are old and dull and worn out i'm not sure but i just remembered that i actually have new drill bits that i bought because i got this thing so i'm gonna go ahead and swap a brand new drill bit in here and then it should go through this one and then we'll see if it goes through the other one all right guys so i don't know what i was thinking the kit that i bought only brings little drill bits because most of my set the little ones are broken and or missing so uh, that's why I got that set. I don't have a big one. This is a half inch, I believe, drill bit. The biggest one in my little kit is a quarter inch. So I threw that on the drill press right now. What I did for the other hole is I drilled the hole with the quarter inch and it went right through it like it was butter. So I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna drill it out with a quarter inch and then I'll put this half inch on and then we'll see if we get an improvement. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so that brand new drill bit did go in pretty freaking fast. So now we're gonna switch over to the bigger drill bit. Hopefully it holds enough to do these. I do have to get a brand new set of drill bits on order because I desperately need them. All right guys, so I got them both done, as you can see right there. And I figured out the issue that I was having and I feel kind of stupid. So basically, it has a like a table here where it tells you what speed you need to go to for each size. And I thought it was the size of the metal you were drilling, but it's actually for the drill bit that you're using. So I had to leave it at a really low speed and I had it like midway, so. I put it down low and it cut through it like it was nothing, even with these crappy bits. I know I still need new bits and I'm gonna get some, but I got it done so that's a plus. So this thing, she's a ripper. So now I can throw this back on here like so. And this thing should not start to bow out whatsoever because this is, like I said, double the thickness. So now all I have to do is go ahead and paint this and then this thing will be complete. But I got another new tool i guess you can say for it so you'll see that very soon but that's gonna do it for this video guys i know it was a quick short video but i just like keeping you guys in the loop of all the cool tools that i get in the garage so i just wanted to show that to you guys so that you guys know exactly how i'm doing all the stuff i'm doing so that's gonna do it for this one i appreciate you guys for watching i hope to see you guys in the next one so as always keep moving forward and stay on the gas